Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of What Have the Inghams Been Up To Today? Well, it's Easter. Easter has come early in Ingham household, Ingham HQ. They are <laughs> eating copious amounts of chocolate, or collecting them at least. To me, it's insane. So let's look at this now. They have dotted these little eggs all over the house, which to me, just off the, off the bat here, is an insane amount, right? They do only have five kids, right? I'm not missing something here, am I? That's an insane amount of chocolate. All the way down the stairs, and all the way down the kitchen, all the way over the house, that's just insane. I can't stress that enough. Then into the outside world. Look at that all over the garden. Absolutely insane. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, Mila's so sweet. Oh, good idea, Dad. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Collect them all up and then we can... Take them in the house. Things. It's so hot out here. You best get collecting them quickly. Wait, 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 there's any smarties ones anywhere. Smarties. Smarties ones. Oh! Ah! 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 Rely on Christopher Ingham to give a little light entertainment, can't you? <laughs> that was a little bit funny, but for all those that are saying, oh, Chris was so fuming, Chris was fuming, he was, he wouldn't have included it if he was overly upset about the situation. He could have cut it out, obviously. But, you know. He doesn't strike me as one who can take a joke brilliantly well, you know. I mean, but, you know, judging by our back and forth that we've had over the years, he's a good sport. So, he included it. Well done. I have newfound respect for you, Chris. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, it's, I don't get this about Sarah and the Ingham Hall dynamic on Easter thing. It's just insane to me, the amount of chocolate. I mean, I love chocolate, right? But this is too much, far too much, far, far too much. And it's excessive. It's insane. It's just ridiculous to have a, an Easter egg. I mean, okay, for starters, right? If you can waste an Easter egg on breakfast in a, you know, to use it as a bowl for, for your breakfast cereal. If if you have enough Easter eggs to waste it on that, you have far too many Easter eggs, right? I'm not talking about food wastage or any of that nonsense, but I'm just saying it's too many Easter eggs if you have enough to, to use as a, a bowl for your cereal, right? But the thing is, with with this, is turning the entire Easter day, I know this is the day before Easter, but, you know, turning the entire day into a celebration of chocolate is ridiculous in the extreme. Now, I'm not very religious. You may have picked up on that. But even I know that Easter is actually a okay it's a religious festival right it, there's no beating around the bush that's what it's for what it's not for is to celebrate your love of chocolate it's not a oh it's easter let's let's turn everything into chocolate today no it's not that it, that's not you know you have chocolate as a I, I don't even know where that's come from to be honest but it's it's a thing on Easter, you get your chocolate eggs and stuff like that. But that's it. It's not a celebration of chocolate. P 
please understand what I'm saying. Jeez, the whole point is so that you get to eat the chocolate egg, <laughs> not eat the cereal and leave the rest. <laughs> Now, I know I'm going on about the chocolate thing a bit too fervently, right? However, I, Sarah, did you just say to your four-year-old, why, why aren't you eating the chocolate? The point is that you have the chocolate for your breakfast, not eat the cereal. Are you, are you taking the piss seriously? Is that what you're actually saying? Or, or, or are you doing it for the trolling? Because to me, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So it's a little bit crazy. People wise here, we've got some very, very good friends of mine over for dinner uh, and my mum and dad, Coco, and it's actually a ball here tonight. But I wanted to come outside and, and show you guys something that we had done today. We had some, en some en electrical engineers here today to finish something on the house that. Some very, very good friends of yours were over today, Chris. Okay, was it by any chance the electrical engineers that you mentioned came over? Are they the good friends? So you've just made friends with them because you said that they're local businessmen. So <laughs> perhaps you have made such good friends with them already and they've come over for dinner. Why not invite the street over? I'm sure that if you... Put a poster outside your house. You'd get plenty of the locals coming by for your your wife's favourite dish of cheese, pasta and mushrooms. Slop. So good. That's they actually finish off the door perfectly. Love them. And this one's working down here. You can't see it obviously because of the van, but yay! They all look so good. We just need to create a little bit of space now in the driveway because it's looking pretty packed at the minute, but there's still lots of space obviously out the front here. And there's absolutely tons of space down the side and then round the back. So now, we're just going to move everything down. I've got to so say, move for ones down that are so a little bit. Security conscious and then uh, about the RV. You know, we'll like go here where the caravan is basically to free up all this area again. The guys that came to do these were absolutely amazing to say they're just a lovely small business uh, that doesn't have much social media or anything. So in your house it's really stuff. important to support You're doing a small very business where you can. So I'm going to link these guys down the below. They're absolutely fantastic. House, really, really good guys. And they've done such a good job. The back and so so happy with that. Yeah, where to hide and where to sneak around the back of your house and how to get in. It's just you know. Uh, a criminal's dream you are absolutely someone's had a busy day so i'm just gonna include this clip i wouldn't usually do so because it shows a baby in distress but it also shows sarah up for the useless mother that she actually is so please bear with me and only da What? You said. What, sweetheart? What's wrong? Shut the door. <laughs> nope, definitely wasn't shut the door. She's looking at me as if to say what? Shut the door. Oh, do you need. Well, I think she's very well, isn't it? What, sweetheart? Shut the door. No, no, no. Shark did it. How does Jace know what she's saying? I don't know. She is saying shark did it. Yeah, you want to watch baby shark do 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 do? <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> Firstly, shout out to Jace, who's an absolute legend for, for correcting Sarah. Brilliant stuff. How? So how how does your four year old know what your baby is saying and you don't? Well, Sarah Ingham, the mother of the year, tutor of the year, whatever you want to call her, you <laughs> you don't spend any time with your kids. How are you supposed to know what they mean? If it takes a four year old to tell you what your baby is is trying to tell you you know there's problems you know you have some issues that you need to rectify i'm just sorting out isla's birthday presents and it sounds crazy i'm just actually deciding what to give 
her for her birthday because I basically bought, I basically buy things when I see them on sale when I know it's something that one of the children will absolutely love. And then when it comes to birthdays, Christmas, etc., etc., I'll get them out and then I'll decide what to give. And what I don't give, I'll give to another child if they have like the same interests. Or I'll say for Christmas or another special occasion. Um Okay, see, now I don't get this. I don't get this whatsoever. Now it may just be me, and if it is me, please comment down below and let me know if it's just me but if it's not me well this is what I'm thinking right when you buy a gift for somebody anybody even if it's your child especially if it's your child you buy that gift with them in mind you buy a gift with that person in mind so that they they know that when you're buying them a gift it is from you and you're, you know, you've thought about them and you know them and everything else like that. Basically, you buy a gift with a person in mind. You don't just buy a bunch of gifts and then see which is suitable. That doesn't seem right to me for some reason. Just maybe just me. I don't know. But also, you have a wide variety of age groups in your little pack right you have young you have semi-young you have middly and then you have a little bit older and older than that still so most of your toys most most things that you buy right kids come in developmental stages right i'm sure a lot of people will be able to understand what i'm talking about you kids have developmental areas of their life so at some point they they move from wanting to play with baby toys to move on to a little bit more grown-up toys and that's okay because that's progression and that's development that's how it works now if you're buying a bunch of toys and you, you don't give it to Isla for, for example on her birthday well who are you going to give it to because if it's a toy which is suitable for around about the 10, 11 year old mark. It's not going to be suitable for Jace, for example. And it's not going to be suitable for Isabel, for example. So who are you going to give it to? It's not. That is how these things work. I, I Maybe it's just me again. I'm not inside Sarah Ingham's brain. I always end up on their birthdays and, and Christmas and things with more than what they need, basically. Um, they don't need anything. I know lots of people are saying you always go over the top on birthdays and Christmas and things, which we do. I understand that. But um, I'm not giving Isla everything that I've got out, out here. Like, it's actually ridiculous. Um, the main things are the kit. Oh, I do just want to say as well, just before I start this, I know that lots of the... I'm not going to show everything. I'm just going to show a couple of bits. But I know lots of things that I'm about to show here, some of you will... Um, not agree with I guess <laughs> for like an 11 year old or a child that's turning 11 um, and that's absolutely fine I don't expect everyone to agree with everything that we do in life it's totally totally fine but I do just want to say that not every not every 11 year old is the same and that's what's amazing and unique about us humans is that no one's exactly the same just the same as no 28 year olds the same as another 28 year old and people have different interests and what a strange analogy that is. I'm sorry, Sarah, but this is kind of what I was talking about. But a 28, how can you compare what a 28 year old, you'd get some, a 28 year old something and that same thing you might give to a 38 year old, right? Because as you get older, people's interests and their ability to adapt and the development doesn't matter as much. It doesn't. So you can't compare getting a 28-year-old something to getting an 11-year-old something. It's not the same comparison. I don't really know where you're going with this, to be honest. Different likes and different wants and different hobbies and blah, 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 blah. So we often get messages and comments and things on birthday vlogs. Like, why would you buy an 11-year-old that? That's just ridiculous. I buy my children what they are interested in, not what society says they should be interested in. So, for example, at 11, I would never have bought Isabel most of what Isla's got. 
because she had no interest in these things. It's not that I'm trying to keep her a certain age or anything like that, it's just that Isla is genuinely interested and enjoys these things. Isabel would have hated these things at 11. Um, so, all I was going to say is whilst people might have opinions on things and definitely not buy this for their child, I wouldn't have bought this for some of my children as well. Um, but just, you know, just, just to be kind and try and be understanding that not every child is exactly the same. Um, mainly towards the dolls and the kinder kids which Isla collects and she's collected for quite a while now. She's got loads in her bedroom and these are on sale in Smith's Toys. They're probably still on sale actually because I only got them a couple of days ago um, and they were on sale for £9.99 so I collected four of them and then Chris said I found these in your box. That I've got like my box of gifts. Do you want them for Isla? for her birthday and it's like a medical set. I don't actually think I'm gonna give them to Isla. I said yeah, but I don't actually think I am going to give her them because I, whilst she, I don't think she'd play as much. I can't decide. that. And then this is a set that I got, um, I got this about six months ago, uh, way before Christmas. It was supposed to be a Christmas gift and I decided not to give it to her for Christmas because she already had a lot. So this went away in the birthday and Christmas box, but I'm not sure if to save this one for Mila more just because it's a, a kind of a plasticky playset and I'm not too sure if, I mean, I'm sure I would love it. Okay, Sarah, just leave it, okay? You've had your fun. Um, right. I don't usually comment on things like this because I think it's just ridiculous if, if, Isla genuinely wants to play with dolls, then that's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with playing with dolls at 10 anyway, or 11, right? It's just, it's, doesn't matter. Really, really doesn't matter. But if you're, if you are debating whether to um, give a toy to an 11 year old or a two, less than two year old, that is your problem. Because there are development stages, I've gone through this already, but there is a difference of opinion on what toys are appropriate and what toys kids can play with and things like that. But when it comes to this, what you've just said, that's ridiculous. That is not even a... That goes beyond what what it is you're talking about because there's no chance in god's given earth in my opinion obviously you know i'm not a psychologist but i would say that given an 11 year old a toy that a two-year-old would play with is significantly detrimental to their development likewise giving a two-year-old the same toy that an 11 year old wants that could also be very harmful to their development too i'm just saying it's not i it's not even trying to keep your kids young or anything like that it is a matter of development and their progress as children i think you know i think you really need to take a step back here a little bit sarah and get some perspective two other dolls that she collects that looks terrifying with a bag over her face like that i'm not too sure why that's a good idea that just looks really silly um it looks terrifying it looks silly why would anybody put a bag over a head of a doll right sarah why would anybody want that because what what is the thing that could actually happen here in actual fact is a very good point and <laughs> I think you're about to tell us it's a short haul doll, right? So it wouldn't surprise me. But surely encouraging your children to put doll to put bags over your doll's heads isn't a good idea, is it? For obvious reasons. Is is that a thing, in fact? But isn't it also true that um it how do you find it scary and, and worrying? about this doll with a bag over its head when you were perfectly willing to do that exact same thing with your own children do we need to go there again sarah do we really need to go back there again now this was a video that they put out in january of last year 
you may remember it. I made a big deal of it at the time and I'm going to do so again. So please bear with me because it's ridiculous what this idiot is getting up to. Watch this. You can see here that she's got her kids with bags over their heads. down there. And then when the console tables arrive, we'll either have one here and one here. Esme, please don't put bags on your head. It's very, oh, you put a hole in it. Well, still, don't ever put bags on your head. It's too dangerous. That's right. It's dangerous, isn't it, Sarah? Putting bags over your head, your plastic bags, encouraging your kids to put plastic bags over their heads. And at the time, I suspected that it was a form of trolling, which I still stand by. It most probably was. But what happens is when your children put bags over their heads, it kind of encourages the children in your fan base to do the same thing. Because, you know, Esme did it and she's my idol, you know, so it must be safe. What the hell? Morons. Um, either side, or one down there and one here. Chris wants them both there. The girls think there and there. But we'll decide. And just in case you were in any doubt whatsoever that things could not be influenced to children of your fan base or any other kids, Esme, who, let's face it, has influence but not over her fan base. She has influence over Isla. She always has had influence over Isla. Isla looks up to Esme. They get on well, but what we've always noticed is that Isla copies what Esme does all the time. Sometimes for good, sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's a negative thing, such as this. As you can see on the stairs there, Isla has decided to put the bag over her head. And that is 100% because Esme did it. Because Esme did it. And do we see her put holes in that bag? No. So this is exactly why it's a bad idea for you to do it. And yet, and yet, that video is still up online. <laughs> Do you even think before anything happens in your little brain? They arrive. Anyway, this one and also this one. They actually, Chase come in, he's like, those dolls are terrifying. <laughs> I think they're absolutely adorable. These are from Mary Shortle and I bought these about a year and a half ago. And I gave her two for Christmas, I believe it was, last year. I didn't give her any for this Christmas. Sorry, guys, I got the driest throat. We've been talking all night because we had friends around as well. But I didn't give her any for Christmas, so I thought I would give her these two. They are absolutely adorable um, little dolls, though, and Isla really likes them. And there we have it. Yes, absolutely, Sarah Ingham is, is, was, and still is a waste of space. She, um... She agrees that the, the dolls shouldn't have bags over their heads. and um, But she doesn't acknowledge the fact that her kids shouldn't have had bags over their heads. You know, because of the same way it's terrifying. You know, put allowing your kids to play with plastic bags. It's, it's a thing for a reason. People are told not to do it. It's one of the basics of parenting anyway i've whinged on enough you everybody have a lovely day and comment all your thoughts below thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're brand new until next time have a lovely day and take care and bye bye